Welcome to day one of Rarity Collection 2, LOL Edition. Make sure you guys smash the living crap out of that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out more awesome content. And remember, leave a comment down below when you be walking away with a booster pack. Alright, so... What in the world is going on with the boxes of Rarity 2 to start here? As of filming this, we are down to 111.73. I fully expect this to be bouncing around and just being an absolute ride throughout the course of the day. I wonder where this bottoms out. Now, this is going to be a ride because we don't have pictures. So this is going to be a lot of, uh, wow. As of filming right now, Appalosa is the most expensive card in the set at $93 for a QCR. Am I surprised about that? No, not really. IP coming up on the rear end here was $79. Access code at $50. We also have the Red Eyes Dark Dragoon coming in at about $50, actually. I'm actually very surprised to see the Dragoon is holding on like that top pedestal up there. Ghost Mourner Moonlit Chill coming in at 48. Underworld Goddess currently at 25, coming down from its all time high at 53, which is kind of insane to see. But hey, when, when the listings start falling, they start coming down pretty quickly here. Uh, and then, of course, Ghost Ogre coming in about 45. These have been pushing down. They were 50 just an hour ago. So I do expect this to keep plummeting. The regular art for Droll is at 40 right now. Um, you got to remember, Droll is a double print in this set. I don't necessarily think it's going to keep its crazy value. I mean, all real things considered at this point in time. You know, 40 for the one art is good. 31 for Crow. Um, this and cross out down here might be the two things that we kind of see just kind of get more top heavy and go on. DD Crow is kind of a hit or miss right now in this format. It does have other printings. I'm very curious to see where the bounce back goes with this, um, but I don't know. Cross out 35 seems about okay. Crow at 30 though, looking a little bit appetizing in my opinion. Uh, we also do have your Droll and Lockbird alt art down to, well, you have a cheap one at 32, 37, still bouncing about 39 though, and that's that's the top end of your QCRs. You bounce down to Dweller down here at 18, Econ at 15 to 19, Polly at 20, all right, Foolish Burial coming in about 19, that's all right. Purely coming in at 19, surprisingly. Um, a lot of people looking at that. Aluber at 18. I don't think this... You're starting to see these population reports come in here. You see 18 on the Guardian Chimera. Mind Control at 16. And Solemn Judgment at 20. I mean, these QCRs are very cheap. Uh, but everything's just very much in the middle ground uh, to speak right now. Charge, 18. Masquerade at 16. Silent Magician at 13, which is not terrible. Cosmic back at here at the 20. Book of Moon, 19. Soul of Rage, 10 bucks. Wow, okay. Dugaras, $10. That shaved down a lot of value. Uh, Magician Souls at 16.50. It's not terrible. 12 on Hope Harbringer. And then, of course, uh, Paralino at 12. Wow, so, so destructive on the path of that. Bingo Machine, 13. Garua, 15. That's not terrible either. My friend, purely nice, 11. Duality coming in at 14. I don't like the QCR duality, honestly. Um, Ultimate Slayer, nice, 14. Skill Drain, QCR at $14. That's so sad. The Crystal Wing is 9 now, too. Rim Bloom at 10. MST, 14. Surprise, surprise. This is actually up there. Also, Phantasmes are holding the lines at 14s right now. I, <sighs> Phantasmes is another one that I would keep an eye on just to kind of see where the market's going to take us on it. It's it's an interesting journey. Um, pretty Memories are 10s? Okay. Sarvis is our 9s. I mean, it's the highest rarity, so I, I guess I expect that. Peaceful Planets at 10s. Alternatives at 8s. Uh, this would be, I think this is a pickup. You wait for these to go a little bit lower, and then you, you grab a set and call it a day. Uh, Jet Dragons are also $8. Wow. Okay. Race loss, nice eight bucks. Uh, Rescue Cat Alt Arts are also eights, and Blue Eyes Spirit Dragons are actually tens. Spirit Dragon is more expensive than Alternative and its brother. Holy crap. That's actually kind of crazy to see. Gold Sark is a nice nine dollars. Lance is also nine. Twin at nine. It looks like a lot of these 
Raikos currently at nines, Hyper Librarian six, Boral End at eight, okay, Anti Spill at eight. Yeah, I'm looking at these eight to nine dollar ones. Heavenly Spheres at tens. I think a lot of these are going to pop over the course of the night for the QCR side of the market. Eights on the Mega Hamster, it's also interesting. Silent Swordsman is a four dollar QCR. Wow. Nine on the warning, Reflasia at four to five, Book of Eclipse also at seven. Pax at five, Etelli at eight. Abomination's Prison is five dollars for the QCR. Wow. Fusion Deployment eight, and then Preparation at six. Okay, I'm starting to see some of these ones that are worthwhile picking up here. Illusion at six dollars. Wow. Skullmeister's at eight. That's kind of a little bit higher than what I want to be seeing here. Uh, Break Sword, five bucks. Chaos Hunters, down to nice four dollars, I suppose. Omega, nice four dollars. Okay, well, uh, Exceed Encore is also at four dollars. Wow, that's insane to see. Okay, well, and your cheapest QCR is a dollar at Sol and Luna. Who didn't see that one coming? Eh, 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 eh. All right, we're gonna flip on over here to, for those of you that do care about other rarities, we have our Prismatic Ultimate Rares. IP is the most expensive ultimate at $15, which is kind of a surprise following it up with Dragoon at 10. And then Access Code at 10, uh, Troll 10, and then Cross Out at 10 as well. And then of course the Pot of Duality at seven, followed up with the Crow at the eight, the Apo at $4, the Guardian Chimera at four, and the Silent Magician is actually a $4 card. That's actually kind of crazy to see. Um, I do think that the ultimate rares in this set are worth looking at. Um, most of these, you see we're back here on page two and you're just cruise controlling the $4 mark. I will say there are a lot of ultimate rares in this set that I think look very, very good. Um, it'll be up to you to kind of decide on things in terms of, I mean, that's the thing that makes this set so cool in terms of your luxury rares. But once again, I mean, you see your price discrepancies between QCRs and, you know, these other rarities. And speaking of jumping down here, your prismatic collector's rares. I don't like the rarity in this set all that much, but from high to low, wow. Nice to draw and lock bird at 15. Abominations prisons were second listing at Okay. And then, of course, nice rescue cat at $5. Huh. I feel like there's a problem in terms of the listings with only one page for this. I guess they gave up listing these, but okay. And then, of course, your Platinum Seeker Rares. You got a Magician Souls being the most expensive at $13 is kind of interesting. You also have the Appalosa at 11 the Access Code coming in at 11 we also have the Red Eyes at 8, okay. Potted Duality coming in at 8 as well, ugh. And then Pressure Planet Raceloth coming in at 8 as well, okay. IP Mask Grand Alt Art, 8 bucks. 7 on the Guardian Chimera, your Preparation of Rights also at $5. And your Paralino coming in at 6 So, I mean, most of these feel like they're handling pretty well. Even like the Skill Drain. Skill Drain Platinum Seeker Air is $5. The Platinums in this set um, are very, very nice. Um, here's actually, here's a quick example. Uh, I know on the on the little end of things, you can kind of see a little bit of that foiling there. Um, the foil moves very, very nice. I, I hope that was a, a good enough example there. Just kind of give you an idea of why, you know, the Platinums are actually a decent choice to want to pick up. Crossout's a seven dollar platinum rare. You know, we opened up our whole case. I don't think we saw a platinum um, for that. It's actually interesting. Um, overall, though, what I am very curious about, just on how this set is gonna be going out here. I mean, your best selling cards over the course here. I mean, it's the quarter century IP, hundred percent, followed by the droll, followed by the apo, and then of course, super crossouts are coming in at about two dollars. So. You know, for what this set is, and for what this set brings to the table, even like Super Access Code Talkers are $2. I wonder how long that's going to hold, because you're going to see 40, 50 Access Code Talkers slam this market and, you know, turn things sideways. But, well, that's today's market. Very rarity collection-y, but all right. Make sure you guys leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think, and I'll see your beautiful faces back here in day, guys. Peace. Patrons. Thank you. Uh.
Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.